Okay, here we're going to be looking at accounts receivable with a cash discount or uh, could be referred to as a sales discount. And what we're going to be looking at here is the gross method versus the net method here for re uh, recording this cash discount. And going up here to our example here, Corporation A here records sales made on credit on say 11X1 and they made sales of $10,000 with the terms here of 310 net 30. So what does that mean here? We have a 3% sales discount if paid within 10 days and the gross amount would be due in 30 days. Or uh, it may be stated here in the contract here where you'd have a 310 EOM. So what does this EOM stand for? That stands for the end of the month here. So going to our example here, 310 EOM net uh, 30 EOM. So what is that are saying to us? We have a 3% discount if paid any time before the 10th day of the following month. And then with the full payment received by the 30th of the following month. So the EOM here means the following month. So let's go down and look at our two methods here and compare the gross method here with the net method. And we're going to be looking at uh, uh, situations here where we have we're first rec record the sales amount here and then we're going to have a payment on the sales received with in the discount period and then we're going to have a payment of sales received after the discount period. So let's go up here and look at our sales here of $10,000 and look at how we'd record it here first for the gross method. So with the gross method we enter the receivable and the sale at the gross amount. That was the $10,000 sales that was made here. We'd increase accounts receivable for $10,000 and then we'd recognize our sales here for $10,000. Now moving over to our net method here. That's where we record the sales and the receivables at the net amount and that represents the cash price on the sale. So looking at our case here where we had the 3% discount on the sales if paid within the discount period here. So what we'd have is we'd have to subtract out this uh, discounted amount here. We have the $10,000 worth of sales times 3% equals $300. So here we got the $10,000 less the $300 equals $9,700. So we would increase our accounts receivable here at the net amount or nine for $9,700 and then recognize our sales here for $9,700. So a side-by-side -side comparison you can see the difference here with the gross method here we recorded our sales amount here of ten thousand dollars our error accounts receivable at ten thousand and our sales at ten thousand here and then for the net method here we had to subtract out that discount amount here I recorded accounts receivable at ninety seven hundred and our sales here at ninety seven hundred so Let's go down here and look at our next situation here where we have a payment of $4,000 of sales received within the discount period here. So uh, first looking at our gross method here. So that's where we record sales discounts any only when the payment is received within the discount period. So in this case uh, the uh, payment here was received within the discount period. So uh, what we have to do here is we have to account for these uh, uh, sales discount here. And in this case we had a $4,000 payment here times the 3% that equals $120. So taking our $4,000 payment here, subtracting out that uh, discount amount here of $120 gives us $3,880 here. So for the gross math Method, we would re uh, increase our cash here by $3,880 and then we recognize a sales discount here of $120 and then we'd reduce our accounts receivable here by for that payment amount here of $4,000. Now moving over to our net method here. This is where we the pay within again pay within the discount period and actually purchase the actually purchase at the cash price here so they're paying the cash price that we had for the net method here so we have a cash amount here of thirty eight hundred and eighty dollars that was the same here where we had the four thousand dollar payment amount and then we have to subtract out that three percent discount here three percent times four thousand gives us hundred twenty dollars so our cash amount that we receive here would be uh, less that that would be the cash price that we record here with the NAF method and it does, doesn't include that discount amount or it 
it includes the discount here. So we'd increase our cash here by 38.80, and then we'd reduce our accounts receivable here by $3,880. So the side-by-side -side comparison, you can see the difference here. The cash amount here is the same, the 38.80 versus the uh, the gross method here versus the net method. But with the gross method here, we recognize this sales discount of $120, and then that's also we have a different amount here for our accounts receivable, 4,000 here for the gross method versus the uh, net method here. We had the net amount here of $3,880. So let's go look in our third situation here where we have a payment of $6,000 of the sales here received after the discount period here. So they can't take the discount and we received the payment here of $6,000. So first looking at our gross method here, our sales discounts is not taken in an af since it was after the discount period here. So we record the receivable and the sale at the gross amount here. So the payment amount was for $6,000. We'd increase our cash account here for $6,000 and then we would reduce our accounts receivable here for $6,000. And again this is for the gross method. Now let's look at the net method here. and. Uh, in this case here, uh, we have a special, uh, well, it would be, a, we're going to look at it here as an other revenue, but we have this 3% uh, discount amount that we have to account for here. So we have the $6,000 payment amount here, and then we have the 3% uh, discount on that. 6,000 times 3% gives us $180. So what we're doing here with this net method here, the sales discounts, again, it's not taken, but it reflects penalties added to the established cash price. There's, it's really reflecting a penalty here. So again, for that discount amount here, we have uh, would increase our accounts receivable by $180, and then we have an account here, we would recognize a sales discounted uh, forfeited here of $180 and you can see that here down here we call that a sales discount forwarded so they disc they uh, this it was forfeited here excuse me and that we recognize as other revenue and then our cash account going we would recognize our cash account here for the six thousand dollar amount received here and then we would uh, or increase our cash for six thousand dollars and then our accounts receivable that would be reduced here for six thousand dollars so with the net match Method, we had this sales uh, for, uh, sales discount forfeited here of you know, that three percent on the six thousand dollar payment of hundred eighty dollars versus the and then the accounts receivable would be increased here by hundred eighty dollars so you can see the side by side comparison here the cash amount here uh, we had increase for six thousand dollars that payment amount here and then the accounts receivable for six thousand dollars and it was the same thing here for the net method we recognized the cash here for six increased it for six thousand dollars and then reduced our accounts receivable by six thousand dollars but the net method takes into account what we call a, a sales discount forwarded here and it's really a penalty that's uh, included here in the established sales price so now we'll go on and we'll uh, look further at these difference here between the gross method and the net method here on the balance sheet and on the income statement. Now let's look at our balance sheet and our income statement accounts here in T-account form for these cash discounts or these sales discounts. And first looking at our gross method here. Well, our accounts receivable, that canceled out a $10,000 debit with a $10,000 credit. And then going up to our cash account here, we had an increase here, our debit amount of $9,880 here, but we had sales here of $10,000. But what we've had in this what we had to recognize here was on the sales discount that was that four thousand uh, dollar payment that was made here with a three percent discount here of one hundred and twenty dollars so in this case uh, we have the sales discount here which we increased here which is a contra account here the sales account we increased it here by hundred and twenty dollars which reduces the sales amount here of ten thousand dollars so the ninety eight hundred and eighty dollar cash amount here plus the sales discount here a debit amount of hundred twenty dollars here adds up or balances with the sales amount here of ten thousand dollars so when we're using this gross method here we report sales discounts as a deduction from the sales 
on in the income statement here. So this sales discount here would be, well, it's a contract count here. It's a reduction here in the sales uh, using this gross method here. And then to summarize here for the gross method, you enter the receivable and the sale at the gross amount. And then for you record the sales discounts only when the payment is received within the discount period here. Now moving down to our net method here. Again for our accounts receivable everything balanced out here and canceled out to a zero balance. But then for our cash amount again we received $9,880 the same amount as we did with the uh, gross amount here. But with the net method we recognize our we recognize sales here of only $9,700. And then we had what we have a dis sales discount for forfeited here again with the net method and that's an other revenue and that was for $180 in this case it was a $6,000 payment uh, times a 3% interest rate here or 3% uh, discount rate here for $180. So oh, uh, the $9,700 in sales here uh, plus the $180 here in the sales discount forward here is other revenue of $180 here balances with our cash amount here of $9,880. So when we're using this net method, we consider the sales discount forwarded as other income here uh, item on the income statement. So in this case, we had our regular sales amount here of $9,700 plus the sales discount for forfeited here of $180. So this is recognized here as other income with the net uh, net method here. And then just to summarize here, we record sales and receivables at the net amount which, rep which represents the cash price here uh, using the net method. And then our sales discounts not taken reflects a penalty added to the established price here. So this is uh, summarizes here our gross method and our net method is how we look, them on, look at them on the balance sheet and how we'd recognize uh, the uh, the discount amount here on the income statement.